Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Starmer brands his cabinet as a cabinet for business. They want to push businesses. They don't want to destroy businesses. They don't want to tax businesses out of existence, even though that's exactly what they're doing. But this, this claim that they are a party of business is laughably false. It doesn't take much to check this because there is not one businessman amongst them. No one in the cabinet has ever run their own business. Not one. So how on earth can they possibly sit there and say they are a party for business? They haven't got a clue. They don't know the trials and tribulations. They don't know what the meaning of red tape is running a business. They don't know. We have a look at the makeup of this cabinet and it is just journeyman. There are seven ex career politicians, sorry, seven current career politicians, four ex-union workers, uh, seven lawyers, two charity workers. Yvette Cooper was a journalist. Uh, there's two academics and an accountant. The only trouble is the accountant isn't the one in charge of finances. Go figure. Um, it is not surprising that this is why this budget will be such a massive failure when it comes to boosting Britain and boosting, boosting Britain's entrepreneurial ship and its businesses and saying that Britain is open for business. People aren't coming here to invest. And it's not surprising. They don't understand what they're doing. They are a backwards lot with not an absolute clue. Now, Reeves always likes to tell people, I worked at the Bank of England. Yes, fetching tea and you weren't very good at it you got fired so stop trying to put that on your cv um and not one of them not one of them ever run a business unbelievable isn't it i remember as i grew up you had politicians from all cues all sides and they were they were businessmen or they were um you know they'd, they'd, they'd run They'd run businesses or they'd served in the military. Most of them had been in the war, of course. Um, or they'd done decent work. You know, you, you had people that actually had jobs. What you're getting now is pimply-faced youths coming out of university. They got their PPE, Politics, Philosophy and Economics. And then they go and become politicians because they think a little PPE will help them. But these pimply-faced youths haven't got a clue about the real world. One only has to look, of course, north of the border to Grosria. A man didn't even didn't even finish university and went into politics. Still a pimply-faced youth. And yet he sits there and says, oh, and this is what you must do. And this is the best way of doing that. I mean, he, what, what the hell do you know? Nothing. No life experience. And it's the same with this lot now in Starmer's cabinet. No experience. They've never been at the pointy end of anything. And yet they think, they think that they are capable of talking to us. No, not one of them. Not one of them. Stellar, isn't it? What a bunch. Thanks a lot anyway. Bye.